what's up guys today we are going to see how we can transfer files uh, to and from our cloud server i'm going to use google cloud platform as an example but all of these techniques apply to other cloud services too so without further ado let's start with the tutorial the first uh, the first method can be to simply use the upload option and suppose I want to upload this, it's a simple process. It will show you the progress of the entire upload here, but I would not recommend this because you need to have the data set on your laptop first and uh, the uploads can take a long time if the data set is big. So let's move on to a new technique. For that, you first need to install a Chrome extension. Install this extension. Uh, I have already installed it, but you can just click this button like below. And after installing it, you will see an icon here. Now uh, we move on to a data set that we want to download. Suppose I want to download this data set from Kaggle, and you can see that the size is quite big. So let's use our new technique. Click on download, cancel it. Now go to this icon of the extension that we just installed. Copy this link, go to the notebook, type an exclamation mark, paste our link, and run it. Now, if you do this same thing uh, using the old method, you would have to download this on your laptop first and re upload it. Uh, to this server and it could take a long time before you can get working on the data set You can see that it took a little more than half a minute to download the uh, 3 gigabyte data set onto our server. Let's take another example Suppose I want to download this data set of hand gestures So let me use the same technique Cancel the download copy this link And run this notebook it will start downloading you can download files from any source like this you just have to use your browser after you have completed all your work on the data set if you want it back on your computer you can just uh, select it and download I want to walk through uh, one last method that involves using Google Drive if you don't want to download this data set on your laptop, you can just save it to your Google Drive and use it later on. So let's go through the method. Uh, you need to visit this link that I will provide in the description. And we want to use G Drive 64 bit for Linux. We are going to use the same old method for downloading data set. Cancel this, copy this link. Go to the notebook and run it. Now it will download uh, G drive on your system. You can see that it has downloaded it. Now we need to give it the permission to run on our system. Type this command. Suppose I want to upload this data set to my Google Drive. So Type the name of the binary file, G drive, type upload space, and now type the name of the file you want to save to Google Drive. Press enter and it will uh, upload it to Google Drive. And you can see you can see that the file has arrived on my drive. And you can use the same process uh, no matter how big the file is. If, if you are using G drive on your system for the first time, it will ask you to enter a verification code, but uh, you will be provided a link where you can find that code. So it's a simple process. So that's it guys. If you found this useful, like this video 
and if you want me to cover any other topics please leave it in the comments below and i will see you next time